So last night when I was departing Wally World, I think where the sidewalk kind of meets the parking lot area, there's kind of a slope downwards. And my foot must have hit that slope in an awkward way because I had so much pain in the Achilles area of my foot. You know, from, Wall from Wally World to Safeway, I was in excruciating pain. My foot was in excruciating pain. All around Safeway, my foot was in excruciating pain. Leaving Safeway, my foot was in excruciating pain. All the way back to MyRedBook.com, Republican Forbes. In MyRedBook.com, Republican Santa Clara 95051. I was just not sure if I could make it back to the house, even. When I got back to the house and to the room... The pain was so bad that I just didn't think that I would even be able to make it to the restroom across the hall. I forced myself to make it across the hall to the restroom when I needed to use the restroom, of course. But I had to hang onto the walls. I really just... had a very, very, very tough time getting from the room to the restroom. And then earlier today, when I had some groceries delivered, even though I went to Wally World and Safeway last night, I had to scoot on my rear end down the stairs. That's how much pain I was in. I couldn't make it down the stairs. Oh, and it was my left foot, so that was just great because... My right leg is a complete mess and just doesn't really function. I really thought like I was going to end up in a wheelchair and I thought I was going to need surgery. This evening, though, I knew that I needed to fill up a couple more boxes. So I pushed myself to fill up a couple more boxes. I measured all the boxes. I know all the dimensions. I weighed all the boxes except for one. So I know how much each box weighs. And I'm pretty proud of myself for doing all this. I mean, I didn't pack all the boxes in one sitting. But I did pack the boxes myself. I bought the duct tape myself, I applied the duct tape myself, I measured the boxes myself, I weighed the boxes myself. Yeah, know, in the past, I would have allowed myself to be intimidated by, you know, one or two men who thought it is their responsibility to pack boxes for me and do all the measuring and weighing and all that stuff. You know, in the past it's been like, oh, you're a woman. This isn't something that a woman should be doing. That kind of mentality just drives me up the wall. It drives me crazy. This taught me so much about myself and how strong and how capable I really am. Even with a leg that doesn't function. When I put my mind to something... Well, not always because of my ADHD, but like with this kind of stuff, if I put my mind to it, I can do it. I can pull it off.
to those men that think that women shouldn't be doing this kind of thing, that's your bad. There's no reason that women shouldn't do it or that, you know, people that you think of as looking like women on the outside shouldn't pack their own boxes, buy their own duct tape, duct tape the boxes, measure the boxes, weigh the boxes. Why are we any less capable than you? On that note, even though it doesn't do me any good in the legal system and it works against me in the legal system, I don't really feel like I'm female or male or any kind of gender, I guess. Like, I just think of myself as a human being. You know, and just because I happen to look like a woman to some people, it really, in my eyes, doesn't make me any different than somebody that doesn't look like a woman on the outside. Other than that, I did weigh myself tonight for the first time in, I don't even remember the last time, probably six months or longer. I really can't remember the last time I weighed myself. And I was shocked. I was very shocked. Because I expected to be at least 10 to 15 pounds heavier than I actually am. And I'm a little concerned because it seems like if I had to count calories, I eat well over 2,000 calories a day. I don't do a whole lot because of the fact that I have supposedly psoriatic arthritis, right? Like my right leg just my right leg just doesn't function. So to have stepped on the scale and saw you know, to have seen the number that I saw on the scale that worries me a little. I should be heavier, in my opinion. I mean, being that I'm not that active and I eat well over 2,000 calories a day, like, I should be a lot heavier. So in that respect, I guess, like, you know, it's probably a good thing to see a doctor about it, talk to my doctor about it. My weight should be a lot more than it is. Not that I'm, like, anorexic or bulimic or anything like that. Not that I'm in that territory. You know, but if I don't watch out, if I'm not careful, like, I could end up super thin, like, way too thin. 
I don't know why my weight is at where it's at, given how much I eat and how much I don't do anything, like, active. So I guess I can't give up on all doctors. Because my weight is kind of a little lower than it should be. I don't know the last time that you know, I had my thyroid checked either, but I mean, I kind of feel sort of like I could be in the hyperthyroidism category. I really should get that checked out though. That's kind of a little disconcerting that I can be this thin and not that active and eating a ton. And that's where I'm going to leave off right now.